I'm Stacy McLaughlin. I'm the founder of Live Hard Movement, and I'm Bella Chavez. I am the daughter of Stacy, uh, and also co-founder of Live Hard Movement. Ian was 14 when he took his own life. He was the anchor, the caboose, full of life, athletic, full of love. My best friend, my little brother, he was always the star of the show. Everywhere I would go, they'd be like, oh, you're Ian's sister. And I'd be like, no, actually, he's my little brother. Um, and then just one day, he was gone. We just started hosting Thursday night dinners where anybody could show up through that, just like this organic process of kids showing up at our house to be authentically and organically themselves. And I think kids know that walking in our door, like there's an absence of apathy in our conversation. And that's really where the Live Hard movement started. Everything Live Hard is about is driven by when we feel Ian the most. We mm -hmm. feel him at the dinner table. We feel him out adventuring. We feel him when in we're filming sunset. in the sunset. Where we feel him is where we're gonna go and that's where we wanna take Live Hard. The logo, it's in his writing, so he left us a last letter. It wasn't about why or how or what was going on with him. It was truly a love letter, and it was an opportunity for him to say, this is how I want you to live. The big, hairy, audacious goal is to develop the two and a half day camp. And it's going to sit on three prongs. The first one is teaching kids how to spot their friends in crisis. The second prong of it is teaching kids through a process of word harvesting how to find their purpose in life. The third leg of it is really how do we take these ambassadors that come to the two and a half day camp, these kids, and put some action items kind of back into their schools. Being a part of Live Hard, you are breaking that barrier. That barrier that we've always had in our community, in our society, mm -hmm. saying, oh, we shouldn't talk about that. That's not, you know, like that closed door, we completely broke through it by just saying Live Hard. And I had no idea how big the Emerald City Gymnastics community was, and it's like the biggest family. It's been this like recent influx of conversation that Emerald City Gymnastics has cultivated alongside with us. Just infinitely grateful for the smallest act and um, the biggest act of donation. The Ian that was ours, that we loved and adored, Something was missing that weekend. And we don't know what it is, but we know we have an opportunity to share his story so that other kids can see themselves in his story and say, okay, like I have, I have a chance. I have a chance to rewrite this. And we're doing it through the words of Live Hard.